Welcome back. Now we answer questions we receive from you, our viewers. If you have a question, visit our website, QuranSpeaks.com, and submit your questions there. Now, Dr. Shabir, today we have a question in an interesting format. So somebody has sent in a video question. This is Dominique from Switzerland, and here is his question now. Sure. Um, I have a question about the qualities of God. Namely, in Islam, there are the 99 names of Allah. In the Chinese philosophy, Taoism, it says that the Tao that can be named is not the true Tao, meaning that it is transcendental, beyond human understanding, and too great for humans to comprehend and understand. With the 99 names of God, we can understand qualities of God. Therefore, God seems understandable to us humans. But in Taoism and other traditions, God is beyond our understanding. God is that which is transcendental, incomprehensible, and beyond human words. How does Islam view God? Is God understandable like maybe Jesus Christ in Christianity? Or is he beyond our understanding like the Tao in Chinese Taoism? And if God is understandable to us humans, what is that which is beyond comprehension, that which is like the Tao? If God is the greatest, it cannot be greater than he. So is it created by God? Is it God or is it part of God or doesn't it exist at all? Thank you for having me on the show. Thank you for that qu great question, Dominic. That was a wonderful question, Dr. Shabir. So Dr. Shabir, I guess the question is, how do we understand God in Islam? Yeah, so it's an interesting question, and I like uh, Dominic's uh, very um, irrespectful style, obviously reflecting uh, some Eastern uh, traditions, uh, the way he clasps his hands uh, to show respect. Um, well, it's an interesting question, and, uh, you know, questions about how religions compare with each other, you know, it's... Uh, they're yeah, hard, find, they're uh, hard questions. They're difficult, yeah. but I find them interesting, okay. intriguing. Uh, so, in my humble reading about this in the Encyclopedia Britannica, I found that um, uh, the Tao is not, uh, in, in Chinese philosophy, the name of a god. It's not a transcendent being. Tao is, is more like the way, and, and it's the way of the cosmos. It's, the, it's a nebulous idea. You can't pin it down, and hence, Dominique is uh, quite right. It's not something you can actually name. You can't, you can't put your finger on it. But it's something like the way of in, of, in which all things unfold. Mm. So how does that uh, uh, compare with Islamic concepts? I think that compares with uh, the idea of al-Qadr wal uh, the, the idea of the predetermination and the measurement of all things. So we have the idea that the one transcendent God a, a, a measures out everything in the universe and everything is flowing according uh, to the master plan of that of, of God. So something similar I understand to be the Taoist idea of the Tao, which is the way in which all things flow, so that uh, the best you can do is try to go with the flow and be part of that universal nature of all things. As I said, it's a nebulous idea, hard to put your finger on it. But in terms of the like trying to understand God, uh, the, it, it is true that uh, the, the Muslim idea of God is not similar uh, to uh, the Christian idea that Jesus is God. It, with the Christian idea, Jesus is both God and man. Mm -hmm. He has two natures, and obviously the human nature is easier for us to comprehend because we're humans as well. And but, we feel uh, closer to that. We feel closer nature, to that. Yes. But then the difficulty is uh, understanding how the divine uh, combines with that human uh, nature. Uh, in, in the Islamic faith, God does not become a man, and so there is some difficulty understanding God uh, at that level. Uh, but the Quran promises us that God is near, and God is uh, at least to a certain extent understandable if we think about his names and attributes. We can understand that he's forgiving, he's loving, he's kind, he's gracious, he's, uh, and, and so on. He is the creator, he is the protector, he is the, the uh, provider uh, of our sustenance and all of these. So by thinking about the 99 names of God, we have some idea about God, but still, God in Islam is transcendent, he's an Allah, he's not imminent in the world, and and the world is not part of him, and uh, the Tao is not part of him, but actually we can say that all goodness and all uh, plans flow out of God, and, and these are coming from God. Uh, the uh, idea then that um, uh, God cannot be understood has uh, you know, been a very common idea in, in, in medieval times, 
among uh, both Muslim and Christian philosophers. Some uh, introduced the, the idea of what is called now negative theology. They said we cannot make positive statements about God. Whatever positively you assert about God, that's going to be wrong. If we say that God is like this, then, you know, that God is so uh, much beyond our understanding that when you say God is like this, uh, most likely he's not like that. Mm. Uh, what you're saying, it's uh, any positive assertion you make about God is bound to be wrong. So they said, let's make negative assertions. Let's say that God is not like this and not like that. Because, of course, the Quran itself uh, makes the negative assertion. There is nothing like uh, him. Uh, so if we say that there is uh, that God is not like this thing or not like that or not like that, uh, then, then we are on better ground. Uh, so in terms of, for example, uh, saying that God is, they might even use a double negative. God is not, not that, and so on. So this is called negative theology from the um, idea that we just want to make, uh, you know, we, we want to we, we express the fact that we do not fully understand God and we cannot fully understand God. But still, God is real and he is near. All right, we'll leave it at that. Thank you, Dr. Shibir. You're welcome. If you enjoyed this video, click like and subscribe. And please donate to support our work at Quranspeaks.com.